Here at home, some mid-staters are getting ready to welcome Afghan refugees. Hannah Brand joins us live with that tonight. Hannah. Alicia, no one seems to know exactly when Afghan refugees might arrive here in our area, but when they do, they are certain to need help with their transition. Obviously, as an American, I want to welcome them with open arms. As the president of Harrisburg Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, Dr. Mubashar Mumtas is preparing to help the Afghan refugees that could be coming to the mid-state. When you come to this country, there's a lot of help and support you need. And when I mean help, it's not just only material help, but also guidance. He says they could need translators, legal help, and other social services. Local business owner Kabir Amani immigrated from Afghanistan years ago. So he understands much of what these refugees are facing. These people are terrified of what's happening. They want our normal life, and that's why they got out. And they want, obviously, they're going to have a better life over here. They're going to have a safety that they're looking for. Some of his family and friends were just able to escape the country, too, and are trying to make their way to Mechanicsburg now. Thankfully, they are out of the, uh, Afghanistan. They were able to get a flight over to Qatar. They're just waiting to come over here. So they're safe now, thankfully. And it's families like these that Dr. Mumtaz and his organization are ready to help make a home here. We are here to help and support in whatever way, whether it's a little help we can provide or more. But even as there's hope for those coming to the U.S., there's sadness for those left behind. Amani says many of his family members weren't able to evacuate and are now stuck in a home they don't recognize. The whole situation is a mess. I mean, for me, I, I feel very upset about it, very sad of what's happening. To see all this is definitely devastating. Not, not myself, my whole family, everybody feels it. Dr. Mumtaz tells me if you want to help, the best way you can do it is to reach out to your local charities and community organizations to let them know. There's a lot of uncertainty right now about exactly what is needed. So he says connecting directly with those organizations helps them to build a network of resources. Live in the studio, Hannah Brandt, ABC 27 News.